Topping our newscast this hour after a marathon public hearing, county supervisors last night voted unanimously to approve a revised and controversial permitting ordinance for future oil and gas drilling in Kern. The 5-0 vote followed a full six hours of public input from hundreds of people who weighed in on the issue through remote comments and voicemails. Familiar themes emerging again last night in this three-way tug of war. Environmental groups want studies on every new oil and gas well drilled in Kern. They want larger buffer zones between production sites and sensitive receptors like homes and schools. And stronger measures to minimize impacts to air and water. Growers want enhanced protection for farmland disrupted by drilling. And the oil industry wants regulation clarity. County planners say the ordinance, with its 87 mitigation measures, balances the needs of stakeholders and the energy demands of California. Why would you want to trade domestically produced oil where we can, we can realize all these benefits just to import it from, from countries that have terrible human rights records and terrible, terrible environmental standards? I mean, it just it doesn't make sense to do that. This notion that um, if, if we just stop producing oil in Kern County, we're going to fix global warming, that's ridiculous. I do find it striking that, according to USA Today, Kern County is the number one county in America, uh, red, blue, or otherwise, in renewable capacity. Uh, that is in transmission lines, that is in the permitting process through what is the most extensive, expensive, and cumbersome regulatory scheme may be in the world, but certainly in the United States. Uh, and that we have done that here uh, in Kern County, I think speaks really to a kind of expertise and a political sensitivity and a wisdom uh, that is far beyond many places that have left their own backyards. At least one environmental group and one grower who sued the county over its original ordinance in 2015 tell 17 News there's a good chance they'll be back in court challenging this ordinance.